What's going on, golf addicts? Welcome to Tour Junkies After Dark, presented by DraftKings Sportsbook for the Genesis Invitational 2022. And we have given you three outright winning bets on this pit on this show in the last four weeks. A 250 to 1 winner, a 75 to 1 winner, and last week, a 30 to 1 winner. Mr. Pat Perry, Scotty Scheffler landed for you last week at 30 to 1. Good job for you, sir. And the you know, the very few people that are watching this video. I mean, you're making money if you're tailing these picks. This is unreal. Three outright yeah, winners in the last four. More weeks. people should be watching, but that's not up to us. Just just go in and watch it. If you mm -hmm. want winners. We Look, the NFL's watched. done with. It's okay? Over. You can get get rid of your, you know, so-and-so bet to win, you know, two to one or something. We're, we're giving yeah, you 50 to one numbers. We're giving you big numbers. Yeah. Um, although this week, maybe not, but... It is the Genesis. We just recorded our, our two podcasts over on our YouTube channel. You can check those out if you want. We gave an extensive course breakdown. Riviera Country Club is an amazing place. It's an old venue. They've been playing it here for a long time. There's, there's some things you should know about it, but we're going to spare you some of those details tonight just so we can get into these outrights, these top 20s that we like over on DraftKings Sportsbook. Pat, like, give me the bare minimum. What do, you, what do people need to know about Riviera? Well, here's the thing. This course plays very difficult every year. You got some weird grass surfaces. We got Kakuya fairways, Kakuya rough, um, which is a little bit interesting. We got Poana greens this week, which we saw at uh, Torrey Pines just a few weeks ago. It's a, it's, it plays as one of the most difficult courses on tour all year. Um, we have a great field this week. I think that's important to know. Another thing, you know, we got 120 players in the field, so a little bit less than we normally see. Um, so a lot of guys are going to make the cut. T65 and times will make the cut. Here's the thing. The greens are small this week, so scrambling is going to be something that you want to look at. Strokes gained approach, as always. Um, as you said on the show, pretty much strokes gained everything, Okay. Yeah. That's what we're looking at this week. It's going to be a fantastic week. Cannot wait. And we don't see long shots typically win here. We see guys that are literally in that kind of, you know, 50, 60 to one number and, and in typically win on this course. Yeah. I mean, three out of the last four years, it's been a 60 to one or shorter. Um, JB Holmes was at 150 to one a few years ago, but this has definitely been a, you know, mid-range to favorites kind of event. And this year, it's the strongest field the Genesis has seen ever. So, like, you've got a stacked field here. A lot of win equity is up at the top. So, you're going to want to get that right. Pat, let's start at the top. Give me who you like in the shorter range here. Um, who's catching your eye outright to win? Well, two guys really in particular that I love this week. I love Rory McIlroy. He's at 22 to 1. He's what? He's a guy... Yeah. You didn't mention him on either podcast. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Yeah. No yeah, way. I did. Yeah, I'm a high pitched voice, Pat, now. <laughs> I did. I, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I didn't. There's did I no not? Way. I do not remember you doing that. Okay. Well, I do like Rory at 22 to 1. I, you like, always like Rory at 22 to 1. I Rory always love win? Rory. He doesn't. I mean, he almost won. He could have won a couple weeks ago. He. Hit a three. He's wood. not closing the door lately, but I still like him. Um, so I'll take him. But my favorite is Cam Smith at 22 to 1. Absolutely love Cam Smith, a guy that's a great scrambler, perfect fit for this golf course. I think it you're, you're getting a guy, you know, he's won already this year. 22 to 1, Cam Smith. I love. I love Cam Smith as well. Um I don't know about Rory, but I do love Cam Smith. I, I'm going to add one to this list, and that's Dustin Johnson. DJ is at 16 to 1 on DraftKings Sportsbook. Previous winner here. In the last five years at Riviera, he's gone 8th, 10th, 9th, 16th in the win. Um, and, you know, he's only played one event in 2022. He came out to the Farmers at Torrey Pines, a very similar golf course to Riviera, and he gained 8.3 strokes T to green and he finished 25th. The only reason he finished 25th because he lost over two strokes on the putting green, which he normally doesn't do. And now he uh, shows up at Riviera, a place that he's absolutely dominated. I love DJ here. I mean, in his in his years here, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight top tens. Eight out of 12. Sorry, out of, wait a minute, no. Yeah, out of 11 events. Eight 
He loves this place. Riviera is built for him 16 to 1. I don't love it any shorter because I don't like betting golf numbers shorter than that, but 16 to 1, DJ, I'll take it. I like the Cam Smith bet as well. Then I kind of take a big leap into this mid range. Actually, sorry, no, one more. We should talk about Willie's Altoris. Willie's Altoris is at 28 to 1 right now on DraftKings. He's catching a lot of steam on DraftKings, right? Mm-hmm. He, I think he opened around 35 to 1 on DK and other books. And then he went down to 31 to 30. Now he's at 28. If you can still get him at 28, I think he's worth taking at 28. I think, you know, depending on your appetite as a better, you could take him at 25. But I probably wouldn't go much shorter than that. Will Zalator is still looking for his first PGA Tour win. Has some experience at Riviera, despite not competing in a necessarily a PGA Tour event at Riviera. Um, but oh, actually, yeah, last year he did. I'm sorry, he finished 15th in his first year. But he also played here in college. Zal Torres is just, you know, he's a West Coast kid. He loves POA. It's like the only surface that he does anything decent on in terms of putting. Finished runner-up at the Farmers, sixth at the American Express in his only two events in 2022. He's gained 18 strokes tee to green in two events. That is really freaking good. If he can just, like, not lose strokes putting this week, he could possibly run away with it. He's that good. So, Will Zal Torres has won to watch. And then after that, I kind of take a big leap uh, in in terms of the betting odds. So tell me anybody else you got in this mid range or short range. Well, a couple of guys that I'll mention here uh, in this mid mid to short range. I like Sam Burns. Uh, we're getting him at 40 to one this week. I mean, he almost won this golf tournament a few or, or last, last year. year. Yeah. Um, and I think he was close to a hundred to one may have been, a little less than that, but and I know he's missed a couple cuts in a row, but still, I like that number at 40 to one. I think that's a good number for him. Uh, and then also Adam Scott is 45 to one, one here a few years ago. He's just, I mean, he's he, I think he's just like a like he like does he drink from the fountain of youth? Because I don't think Adam Scott's getting any older, like. Some of these guys that are like his age, like I feel like they show their age, but he never shows it. Um, so Adam Scott, I think, is uh, is a good bet there at forty five to one, also, and he's been playing well recently. So I like him also. He's starting to get some gray in the in the hair, I think. But yeah, I don't mind Adam Scott. Don't mind that play at all. I will go uh, in this mid range. I'm going to go with Mark Leishman. Mm-hmm. The Australian who has a good record here at Riviera loves this place on record, saying he loves this place. You know, you mentioned some strange grasses and stuff here, the Kikuya fairways and rough, which is familiar to a lot of South Africans and Australia's uh, Australians. Um, Leishman's been playing well also this year. So 50 to one, I like that. Thomas Peters at 70 to one. The Belgian bomber has played here a couple times, played well here uh, on the PJ tour, but also I think he won a college event or some amateur event or finished runner up or something. He's got some experience at Riviera. He's also on record saying he loves his place and he's coming off a win overseas on the dp world tour just a few weeks ago 70 to 1 thomas peters he's a stud like he's a world-class player that a lot of people you know and and maybe even the books don't quite understand just how good he is and he's still young so i like him Uh, all right getting into the long shots who you got well a couple that i'll add here i think kevin na at 75 to 1 he he's interesting to me. He's got a good history here. Um, you know, we have not seen him since the Sony open, but I do like him at 75 to one. And I think he, you know, he pretty much wins a golf tournament every single year. So I like that. Yeah. I like Alex Noren. Alex Noren's at 80 to one. Now he's a guy that's all over the place. His stats are never that great, but when you can get him in good recent form, which he's in right now, played well last week at the waste management, He's played well at this course before several times. I think he's got a few top 20s here. So I do think Alex Noren at 80, 80 to 1 is also a good number. Um, so outside of that, I like Christian Bazudenhat. Bazudenhat. <laughs> Bez. Bez. I like Cbez at 100 to 1 also. He's another guy that I think is going to play well this week. So there you go. All right, um, two more for me. Luke List at 80-1. to 1. I sound like a broken record, but listen. He was on our podcast in the fall. He loves Riviera. It's the one course on the calendar he circles every year. He loves this golf course. He loves this golf tournament. 
He loves putting on POA. It's like the only putting surface he's halfway decent at. He just won on POA at Torrey Pines two weeks ago. I hit him at 75 to 1. People are going to look at last week's performance and go, oh, he finished like T50 or whatever. Yeah, but he still gained like five strokes T to green, but he lost like six on the putting surfaces that are not POA at TPC Scottsdale. And it was the worst putting performance he's had since, since August of 2020. Luke loves this place. If there, I said this on our shows. If there is one more week for the entire year that you play Luke List, it is Riviera week at 80 to 1. I agree. This and I is when I'm done with him, though. The number is longer than, than you know, probably because of the, the poor finish at Scottsdale, and I love that. I think that's great value. The last one I'll give you is Lonto Griffin at 90 to 1. Lonto has come in playing very well lately uh, in 2022. Um, he's known for, you know, playing well on tough courses, which is what you have here at Riviera. He finished 16th at Pebble Beach a few weeks ago, 30th at the Farmers, third at the American Express. He's played here twice. 37th is first time out in 2020 and 26th last year. Um, you know, and that was really through great putting. The ball striking wasn't fantastic, but right now the ball striking is hot for Lonto Griffin at 90 to one. He's a PGA tour winner. He's won a tough field event uh, as a PGA tour uh, in his PGA tour career. So I think Lonto at 20 to one or at 90 to one, sorry, is a great number. Yeah, I like that number. Okay. That's all, all right, I got. Top twenties. Give top me some top. 20. You got any top twenties? You don't have any top twenties? I do. If yeah. you could just give me a second here. All right. Well, I'll, I'll start. I think there's some value on a few of these top twenties. I mentioned list. He's at plus two fifty. I mentioned Peters, plus 230. Leash is plus 190. Taylor Gooch is plus 140. Great record here. Playing great. Had a crappy Sunday at the Waste Management. Had a chance to win the Waste Management going into Sunday. Coming off his first win at the RSM Classic in the fall. He's been playing solid. Now, he's played, he's played a lot of golf in 2022. So, you know, I don't know if I feel as good about the outright number on Gooch as I do the top 20 number. But I like that at plus 140. And my boy Maverick McNeely, my West Coast kid, it's the last event of the West Coast. He knows he's got to eat, all right? He's plus 275. I'm not willing to bet him outright, as I have been in a lot of tournaments this year in this field. But I do think a top 20 is there for McNeely at plus 275. I'll take that one. All right. Well, I don't mind it. A few for me. Cameron Tringali is at a plus 250 as a top 20. You know, Tringali, we we all had a little bit of an injury scare with him uh, at the, at Pebble Beach, but he's a he's a Cali guy. He's an Orange County guy, so yep. he obviously has some experience here on this course. I like him at plus two fifty. I think that's a good number for him. Another, you know, couple numbers here that I like. Also, um, did you mention Lanto? Lanto? I did. Yeah, I talked about him at nauseum. Plus yeah. two seventy five. Well, I, I mentioned him as an outright. But I do yeah, like it. I think it's the top 20 number, though. I think that's a great number, plus 275. I like that as well. A couple more. Christian Bazudenhout, Cbez. he is 3-1, three to one, plus 300 as a top 20 number. I like that. And then, you know what? Carlos Ortiz, he's plus 400, a guy that has good history. I don't history. mind that. I like that. He's got good history here. He had, you know, obviously had the hole in one last week, so everybody saw that. But he's he's been in some good recent form. Carlos Ortiz plus four hundred for a top twenty. I like that number as well. There we go. There you have it. It's the uh, outrights and top twenties for the Genesis Invitational twenty twenty two, presented by DK Sportsbook. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a subscribe if you haven't already. Listen, we fit three winners out of the last four weeks. Like, what what are we doing? Like, watch the video. Every week we're here. It's like 15 minutes or less. We're dishing out winners. NFL's over. Golf season is about to peak. Let's get it. Have a great week. Come back next week. Yeah. After dark. See you. Out. Ooh. Uh.